how to change keyboard language shortcut in mac if you are using macbook air macbook pro the steps are going to be same now still if you are using the old method of going in settings then in keyboard then edit option in text input and then you are changing the keyboard language from here stop doing that because there are two simple ways by which you can simply change your keyboard language shortcut now the easiest way is you can simply go and select this input option in menu bar and you can check out all the keyboard languages which you have added over here you can simply select another keyboard language and the keyboard language has been changed but if in case you don't find this input option in menu bar go in settings then in keyboard then in text input you have to go in edit option and make sure the first option which is show input menu in menu bar this toggle is on if this toggle is off you can see that input option from menu bar is gone and as soon as i enable this it is activated once again so i can change the keyboard language from here by simply tapping on that and selecting another language but there is one more easiest way and that is you can use the globe key to change the input source now currently i have already set it to change input source in your case it might be on emoji or some other option so make sure you select this option and keep it to change input source guys once you select this let me minimize this for better understanding now if i press globe icon or globe button on keypad you can see a pop-up window will appear on desktop and if i keep on pressing this globe button and for example let's say i want to use russian coverty keypad and you can see I have selected it you know currently it is on russian coverty keypad once again if i press globe button and then i want to keep it on spanish now then i will keep it on spanish so you have to use globe button to directly change your keyboard language so guys these are the two simple ways two simple shortcut by which you can simply change your keyboard language and that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe i will see you all in the next one thank you